starting a short hike, 2.7 kilometers, to, on El Caminito del Rey in Spain. We're going to see how tough this is. It used to be a tough hike, but apparently it's softened up quite a bit. The trail starts off with a long tunnel ride that you go down, and eventually it opens up and giving you some nice vistas of the whole surrounding area. This is a funny story. After they saw the sign of El Camino de Rey, some guy took a photo and then dropped his cell phone and a woman had to go up and get it because it fell down the, the hill. Funny. But anyway, as you go down, you eventually descend. The whole trail is pretty much flat and you'll see a lot of water coming from the dam that kind of cuts through this entire valley that you're going to be walking through. It's a very narrow gorge filled with flowers and filled with water and the sounds of birds and the, and the smell of all the wonderful vegetation that hugs the steep cliff line. It's also a great place to go rock climbing as well. The path is quite easy. The entire time it's either flat or slightly downhill, so almost anybody can do this. And it's just simple walking the whole way through. The views are spectacular everywhere you look. Here in El Camino del Rey, this is one of the overlooks, and it's the King's Walk. They've pretty much carved out this gorge to help fill up the reservoirs, and as a result, inadvertently made a very nice hiking trail that's totally chill. I see some cars at the bottom. I don't know if that's our pickup place. So far, it's been very flat and easy. Uh, it is hot, but they don't let you have an umbrella for some reason along the way, so just be aware of that, or selfie sticks that are too long. But just be aware, it does get quite hot there, especially in the summer months. It probably is quite cold in the winter months. And then eventually you come to the highlight, the bridge. I don't know about this bridge. Only a few thousand people have crossed it. I don't know if it could withstand my heavy weight. There's only one way to find out. And crossing the bridge is not nearly as terrifying as some people think. It's really not that bad. But if you need to go on a diet, go on the bridge, you might want to do that because out of safety. Because, you know, you weigh over 100 kilograms, they may not let you on. And that's a joke for you politically correct people. This is definitely a worthwhile hike if you want to explore something that has an amazing bridge like that. And at the same time, it's not too strenuous. It's only a few hours, maybe three hours or so, depending on your level of fitness, and you should be fine. And after all that, we went to a nearby restaurant and gorged on wonderful, wonderful Spanish cuisine. Definitely a great way to put all those calories that you just worked off back in your body. This is Francis Hapon encouraging you to wander and learn.